Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker and some of you may recognize this beauty as the Kawasaki GTR of one Kazawaki. Um, Kaz has entrusted his bike to me for some reasons. What we're going to be doing um, is changing the changing, rebuilding the brake calipers on this bike, changing the brake lines, rebuilding the brake master cylinder and also having a look at his carbs which seem to be giving some trouble and changing his air filter. It's already been serviced fairly recently with oil and stuff, so we're not going to touch that. It's just going to be brake calipers, brake master cylinder. We're also going to have a look at the brake discs, and I will be shouting out a different channel in that episode when we get there, um, and the carbs. So, yeah, if you want to see any of that, please do stay tuned. Um, and I do have something to talk to. By the time this gets to general release, say, it's probably already going to have happened, but patrons, stay tuned. There's a nice vote coming up for you all, so... Uh, We'll talk about that in a minute. So first and foremost, what I'm going to do is just bleed as much fluid out of these lines as I can and then disconnect them. And the lines are what the interesting bit is going to be about. So the bleed nerp is right here. We're going to bleed out obviously a bit of fluid through here. And we're also going to mop up as much fluid as we can um, from up in the reservoir. So what I'm going to do is literally open up this bad boy here and mop up as much of the fluid with some paper towels or whatever you want to call them um from here paper towels what do you call them blue paper blue blue paper i used to listen to a song called paper towels um then we're going to bleed out as much fluid as we can from down actually at the calipers and then we'll take off the lines in the calipers split the calipers and have a look so i do already have the rebuild kit uh, for the actual calipers itself which obviously makes it better uh, we're also going to do the rear caliper. Um, if you want to see this one being rebuilt, because I'm not going to do this one today, do let me know. I can do that one as well. It's not a problem. Um, if you have an interest in seeing this particular bike's caliper being rebuilt. But for now, let's get bleeding. And Oh, that sounded wrong. <laughs> let's get this bike bled. There we go. So I'm not going to go through all this in detail uh, again, but basically the premise of bleeding brakes um, is the same when you're trying to get rid of the fluid as get rid of the air. You squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and hold, crack open this, this bolt here, this bleed nipple here. Um, and what that does is allows the fluid out from this bleed nipple. So just make sure you have a hose connected to it and um, to drain it. And afterwards you can open off these bolts here. So what you're trying to do Get as much fluid out of the reservoir as you can. Those bolts look stripped as hell, Kaz. Thanks for that. <laughs> um, and then obviously get as much fluid out of the lines as you can. And afterwards, um, you can just take the lines off. So let's see, can we get that reservoir open? So like I said, I'm not gonna go into crazy detail on this because I have covered it before. Uh, have a look at those other videos. But basically, try open these, which I'm gonna have to replace because they are screwed. And basically, if you're opening really old, rusty um, bolts like this, just put all your pressure on them like that, down into them, and then turn it. Because if you don't put a lot of pressure on them, you're almost guaranteed to fail. So let's see how grungy this is. Also, generally a good idea, before you go do anything like this, you know, cover the area with um, blue paper or whatever you want to call it. It's just a little bit, a little bit safer in case you spill any fluid. So actually in fairness, Kaz, uh, you, get a, you get a pass here. The fluid is not terrible. Um, I've seen far, 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 far worse than this. So this, this fluid here isn't so bad. So it would likely mean that the problem with Kazuaki's brakes um, lie with his calipers um, or something that Chris Gray pointed out to me that his discs are fully, fully frozen up, so we'll, we'll fix them too. So next what we're doing is just mopping out as much of this as we can, because it's easier to mop it out from up here than it is to try bleed it out later. So what you want to also make sure you have is some brake cleaner on hand. Uh, this isn't an advertisement for True Tension or anything. I just happen to use them because they're easy to get here. Um, but you want to give in here a good clean 
And don't worry about you can get your brake cleaner on whatever you want. Uh, if you think you've spilled brake fluid on stuff, spray it with brake cleaner, give it a wipe off. Uh, obviously, just don't go crazy with the brake cleaner in case you do more damage than good. But Kazuaki's bike is actually very, very clean. He keeps it extremely well. Um, so I'm trying to just keep it nice. But basically, you want to clean out the inside of your reservoir just so you, there's no like muck. There's a little bit in the corner in there and you don't want any of that left in there because obviously when you rebuild this dirt like that, if it makes its way down uh, into your lines, your, your actual holes, which you'll see later on the calipers, they're super, super, super tight. So if any of that dirt makes its way down in there, you're kind of screwed. So now that that's pretty much as cleaned out as I can get it, um, which I'll show you in a second, we're just, I'm just gonna leave the cap uh, back on it for now, just to keep out any dirt. And obviously because these bolts are completely goosed, we're just gonna loosely, loosely, loosely put them back on. Like hand tight. I just, I literally wanna stop dirt going in there, but I suppose before I should do that, I'm gonna show you the cleanliness level. So I'm not finished cleaning this yet. I'll get a toothbrush later, but just to show you if it focuses, there you go. Just to show you the kind of level, you, like I said, a little bit of toothbrush there later, but you want, it, you want it that clean. Because if you don't get it that clean, then that dirt can possibly make its way um, down into the lines that you fit later. So next what we're gonna do is just bleed as much out of the actual brake lines as possible, which like I said, is just squeeze, 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 whoa. Oops, I forgot I had to put back on the cap. <laughs> Which is just gonna be squeeze, 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 crack that bolt at the bottom uh, like I showed you and, and go from there. So I'm not gonna show you that because I've done that before. If you want to see any of those videos, let me know in the comments and I'll link it to you. Um, I just don't wanna rehash the same thing. So when I have that bled, we'll show you taking off the lines and removing the caliper. Okay, now we have bled. Hey, what we need to bleed so we can remove, start to remove everything here. And first what you want to remove is quite simple. It's the brake line. Um, yeah, sorry about that. The, the accent, sometimes I get carried away. But basically, what you want to do is just remove this first, which is still lots of fluid in there, which I was not expecting. Not to worry, Kaz, I'll clean it all later. But remove your brake line like so. And this is, this is actually a weird one because this, this brake line here, um, it's actually split onto what looks like a kind of a secondary master cylinder on the front. So hopefully I also have, because I ordered the rebuild kit for everything, um, but this is why I didn't order the brake lines yet, is I wanted to make sure I had the sizes of everything I was actually going to need. So that's kind of step number one is to do, is to do that. There's a little bolt there as well we have to take out to get this out completely. So then you want to take out this little size 8 bolt here. Yeah. Which is holding on the clip that holds the brake line itself. And I'm only going to show you one side by the way. This is pretty much uh, rinse and repeat for the other side. Then up underneath the fairing here. I'm not sure can you see. Uh, where I'm pointing, you can. So up underneath the fairing here, if you follow this, there's actually another brake line situation up here, which links into what looks like a kind of a master cylinder. So you want to open that too. And I'm not going to lie, this bit up here, I've never seen a setup like it. So it's going to be a learning experience for me too, which is cool. I like learning. And what it looks like is this brake line just kind of links um, on up here onto the brake line coming from the master cylinder and it links over onto the left. I don't actually think it is another kind of brake master cylinder, I think it's just, or a slave cylinder, I think it's just a link. Um, and instead of piggybacking, they have just done it up there, which is a weird way to do it, but hey, if it works. Then to remove the caliper, it's two 12 mil bolts here. <sighs> Oh my god, they're tight. And here we have a removed caliper. So this actually looks quite clean. A credit to Kaz, I gave it a quick spray off a of brake cleaner because I did leak a bit of brake fluid on it, which is all gone on the floor now. Um, but yeah, quite clean. Let's uh, bring this over to the bench and have a look at how we take it apart. 
Okay, this is my first look at these, and just first and foremost, that, that pops out quite easy. One brake pad, and then I assume this one, if I push in these pins. Anyway, uh, it also looks like these are wind back in pistons, which I really, really dislike. And these pistons are full of crud, so this thing definitely needed um, a bit of care and attention, so I'm glad we're looking at it. But anyway, let's... Uh, Let's break it down as much as we can. So the only thing is these these calipers here, these aren't gonna split because it's a single design. This is an axial caliper, by the way. Axial, like I said in another video, all it means is you have pistons on one side only. So those pistons push one direction and they pull against this one because these fingers here pull the caliper back in, obviously, as you crush it together. It's a fine setup. Personally, I prefer radial calipers, which are pistons on both sides. Uh, they just work better. But these these are these are fine. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna do my best to get this open. <laughs> we'll see, can I? Okay, so it looks like it's just brute force and ignorance. Uh, is how you open that. Those pads, Kaz, those pads are non-existent, man. Come on. <laughs> so next what we wanna do is, I assume these are gonna wind the whole way out. I'm not actually sure. Are they just kind of? Oh no, okay, they're normal. They're normal calipers. These are just kind of like blocks, which is a problem because my caliper removal tool relies on me getting in there. So I'm gonna have to see can I take these out, which it feels like I can. Okay, perfect. So that little insert removes, so I can get in at the piston. I actually like those little plastic blocks because they'll keep the inside of the piston uh, relatively clean. No, no inside piston is ever going to stay completely clean, but yeah, relatively clean. And now what we're doing is using this caliper removal tool, which you would have seen before. I'm just going to pop out these pistons or piston removal tool. Ow! That was my finger, and it really hurt. Interesting thing about this vice is it's actually older than I am. I think. So there you go. A little bit of useless information for you there. Yeah. Okay, they don't look so bad. Cleanable. Well, this one doesn't look so bad. It looks quite possibly like it's going to be cleanable. So there's uh, piston one out. Like you can see, it is filthy, but I don't actually see any surface scoring. So I should better clean this up, which I'll show you in another episode. Oh, yeah. Uh, this one. This one looks a little less happy, has quite a few more scratches. So just to show you, this actually doesn't look that bad. These seals here um, were from the smaller side. Focus. No, no. Focus. Yeah, there we go. These seals from so this one here is the dust seal that is completely perished, and this is the actual oil seal which um, was actually loose in its seat just because of wear. Which isn't the biggest deal in the world, but uh, these other ones, just to show you. There's a lot of dust in here, but actually, actually, I will say, Kaz, again, your calipers are in pretty good condition overall. Um, I am honestly surprised at how good they're in, because obviously this isn't an old, this isn't a, a new bike, it's a 96. 96? 95, sorry. This is a 95 uh, Kawasaki. This seal actually isn't bad because it doesn't want to come out. That's always a good sign if they don't want to come out. <sighs> Just getting my pick. There you go. There's the other oil seal out, or brake fluid seal. I call them oil seals because they're still kind of sealing in oil. So what I'm going to do next with this is, this is going to go in the ultrasonic bath for a good cleanup. Um, if you want to see how to put brakes back together, let me know in the comments. I'm not going to put this one back together straight away just to see if people actually want to see it. I have done videos on these before. It's, it's, it's essentially the same thing. But if you want to see these brakes, I will do it. But first, let's get back to the main purpose. The main purpose? The main thing. So now that you know the next kind of mini project on this channel, which is kind of giving this Kawasaki GTR a little bit of love, it's time for the interesting bit of this whole thing, which is why I kind of agreed to do it in the first place. Ka Kazawaki needs new brake lines. We're gonna get him HEL braided brake lines. Now, the beauty of that is, 
it's up to the patrons to pick the color. So I'm gonna put a poll up on Patreon. By the time this video comes out, the vote might have already been finished. I do apologize, but something's gotta go to the patrons. You know, this that's how it is. So any color on HEL, <laughs> and I'll put the options up on screen now, um, that are available for the custom lines, you let me know, you let me know what you'd like to see on Kazuaki's bike, and is what it's what's going on there. So yes, it's Kazuaki's money, but uh, this is this is how he's getting it done. So basically, this is just video one, literally just bleeding the brakes, getting that brake caliber caliper broken down. I'm not going to show you the left one because it's the same as the right one, and taking off the brake lines. Um, we will do a video, probably putting them back together, putting them back on, bleeding everything when we get the new brake lines in. So obviously that's time dependent. Um, and we'll also do a video on when I take out the carbs just to just to refurbish them. The carbs, honestly, is just going to be new seals and a few other bits and pieces. Clean, clean the actual jets and, and hopefully then that solves his, his couple of issues and also check his float heights. But yeah, let me know what you think about colour. What colour should we do? <laughs> and you can be as cruel as you like. If you want bubblegum pink, let's go bubblegum pink. Sorry, Kaz. Sorry, Kaz. It's... Uh gonna happen but anyway uh, other than that thank you very much for watching if you'd like to see any more detail on any of the breaks do please let me know ASAP in the comments because I can probably just do the video putting those back together just in case people want to see them and yeah until next time thank you very much for watching a special thank you as always to my patrons uh, Kazuaki is one of my patrons Kaz is also a friend of mine uh, which is why I'm helping out Mo with his bike I'm not a mechanic um, I'm just doing a friend a favor, so that's pretty much it. And we're going to ruin his life, so we're gonna make sure if you're a patron and you see this video, please, please, please vote on the line color. Um, personally, I want to go Ka Ka Kawasaki green, but I'm actually not sure how much that it's that it matched the, the color of his bike, so maybe that's a bit too far, but we shall see. Um, yeah. Hit the votes. Uh, if you're watching this video and it's out on YouTube proper, uh, do let me know in the comments just in case I haven't ordered them yet, what color you would like to see. Uh, if you're in in time, I'll, I'll tally those votes and, and, and we'll see what comes out of it. Um, but yeah, until next time, thank you again for what, thank you again for watching. These type of brakes are very easy to take apart. And um, personally, I prefer radials that you split, but the axials that you just pull out the pistons are easy. I do recommend getting a piston tool. You can also push them out with pressurized air, compressed air. That's a bit more dodgy because you can hurt yourself. Not that it's dodgy, it's just it's a different way of doing it. There's many different ways to do these things. And yeah, until next time, thank you again for watching. Adios. Outro crew. What color should they be? <laughs> I I'm not gonna lie. I think I think I think bubblegum pink, bubble bubblegum pink lines on this bike would be absolutely fantastic so <laughs> what else should i do to it actually while it's here in my care should i should i do anything else slash the tires i won't i, I probably won't slash the tires should i sl I'll slash I'll, yeah oh, yeah i'll slash the tires i probably won't slash the tires but i might slash the tires you're never gonna know cats i might slash your tires could happen could happen <laughs>